Hi guys, I've been asked to make a short video explaining uh, more about the exposed framework and exposed modules. The exposed framework is, as it sounds, a framework that gets installed to your device that allows to, to modify certain applications with the use of modules. I say certain applications, it's most applications. Some apps that you get from the Play Store already have uh, support uh, built in for exposed modules. So what I mean is uh, some app developers also have exposed modules out there or, or a third party has developed an exposed module for them for use with their app to improve and add more features. Now if you want the exposed installer you want to get it from here. So all you need to do is Google exposed framework installer and you're better off going to the thread on xdadevelopers.com. I'll leave a link in the description. From here you can get all the information that you could possibly need about the uh, the exposed framework and modules and how to install it. Now this page is uh, specifically for two versions of Android, uh, version Lollipop and Marshmallow. The installation for Marshmallow is a little bit more complicated but for Lollipop and below it's quite easy as long as your device is rooted it's sort of a press and go you know like a one click app type thing so this will be where you get the exposed framework and uh, if you've got any issues uh, all you need to do is uh, troll through the forums there's an immense amount of documentation on the exposed framework and installer and also the modules. Um, once you've got it installed you want to be looking at modules for your apps. Now there's a few model modules that are essential if you want to spoof uh, your GPS and not get caught and uh, also I'll show you the built-in the built-in modules. So here's the uh, the exposed installer. Um, this is an app that comes with the uh, with the framework. Um, on Marshmallow, you have to install the framework manually and then download this app. On other versions of Android, you can install the framework straight from this app just by clicking on Framework here and clicking on Install slash Update. Now. Do this at your own risk, routing your device and installing the, the exposed framework. If not done properly, you can brick your device. It's very hard to completely brick an Android device, but sometimes it requires a little bit of know-how uh, in order to recover a device from, say, a boot loop that you might not be able to do. So make sure you read all the documentation before you get into this. Make sure you fully understand what you're doing and weigh up whether it's worth it or not. So once you've got the exposed framework and it's installed, uh, you're going to need some modules. Now we'll look at my modules. It will automatically suggest to you that you get the GPS fake location module if you have the app installed. Now that adds a bunch of functionality to the, to the app, uh, including randomizing Wi-Fi access points which is kind of amazing the uh, just to make sure your phone is fooled into thinking where where you're telling it you want to be uh, it will feed fake Wi-Fi hotspots to your phone to make it look like you genuinely are walking around and connecting and disconnecting from other um, sources of internet and this is also one you want this module enables uh, your phone to hide the fact that mock locations is enabled. Some apps um, look for whether or not you have mock locations enabled and you may get banned that way. As it stands right now Pokemon Go does not check whether mock locations is enabled on your device but it's highly likely that in future updates uh, it will uh, it will have uh, a feature to let the app know whether or not you, you are trying to spoof your location. So the best we can do to avoid getting banned is to make sure that the app can't find out that you're spoofing locations. 
And the best way of doing that is to use a GPS Fake Locations app with the ex with the exposed module and mock mock locations. Now I'll show you where you can find these straight away. Just in the exposed installer application, once you've installed it, you literally just click on download and you have a search function here. It tells you what ones you've got installed already and you can search up here for whatever you want and you can sort the order of whatever alphabetically however you want to view it so once all that's installed and you enable the modules to enable them you go into your modules and you tick them like this now once they're ticked you have to reboot your device before they will be effective before they will be working you're going to need to reboot your device and that's it really I'm not going to be uh, posting any tutorials on how to root your device as it has been asked by several uh, of my viewers the reason being root is very device specific so the way I rooted my device won't be the way you need to root yours unless you have the exact same device as mine however if you do want to root your device you can just uh, search around on XDA there's a bunch of ways to root your device the best, uh, the best way to find out how to root your device is to go to your device's sub-forum on XDA Developers and no doubt there will be guides in there to uh, unlocking your bootloader, routing, installing custom recoveries because you will need a custom recovery if you're on Marshmallow and you want to install the exposed framework. Um, what else? Yeah, so obviously this is all at your own risk. Being soft banned, so to speak, is still not a problem I run into at all, but some users are reporting that uh, they're getting banned. Uh, not banned, so to speak, it just stops you from using Pokestops until you stop spoofing your GPS location. So uh, that's about it from me. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you uh, like, drop me a comment, Subscribe. If you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down and uh, I'll see you in the next one.